Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, Antonelli here. Hey, what's going on, everyone? How are we doing? Matt Antonelli here with Antonelli Softball. Wanted to talk a little bit about bunt defense today. I get a lot of questions about bunt defense. Um, so here we have a situation in the game. We've got Kentucky against Oregon. Uh, Oregon is going to bunt here, so we've got a runner on first base. Uh, Kentucky is expecting it. So you can see they have their corners in. All right. Now, there's different things that you can run, but let's just say a, a typical bunt defense Man on first base, what are we going to do? All right, let's go through all the positions. So if you're the third baseman, your responsibility here is to crash, okay? I want to crash, and I'm anticipating getting the lead runner. That's key. Always anticipate that I'm going to go to the lead runner base. If I bobble it or, you know, the ball's not bunted hard enough or whatever, well, then I can reset my feet and get the runner at first. But I'm always anticipating lead runner, all right? So that's this responsibility. If I don't field the ball, if it's to the pitcher or the first base, well, then I retreat and I get back to third base, okay? If I'm the shortstop, I'm going to go to second base, always, all right? If I'm the second baseman, I'm going to go to first base, always, Okay, if I'm the first baseman, I'm going to typically also crash as well, right? If the ball is bunted, if I'm crashing and the ball is bunted here or here, and I'm close enough that I can get back, I can get back. But typically the easiest thing is just for the second baseman to come over, say I've got the bag, and you're going to get out of there, okay? Let's watch what happens. All right, so here's the bunt. You see the corners crashing, right? So here come the corners. You see the shortstop going the second. You see the second baseman going the first. Pitcher's going to have anything bunted straight back at her. Now, ball's fielded by the third baseman. She anticipates the lead base, which is perfect, okay? Now, the key here is third base is vacated, so... Pitcher's got to get there. Catcher can also get there. It really should be pitcher. That way catcher can stay home. But you can both go and then communicate, and then one's got to be able to take the plate. Okay? You can see here pitcher gets out of the way. Now catcher keeps rolling down to third base. And they get her. All right, so let's watch that in full speed again. All right, very nice. And when you do it really nice, see, she gets really excited right there. And if you don't do it well, she throws her glove at you. I'm just kidding. She doesn't do that. I mean, someone might. All right, but, but what I really like on this bunt defense here is the aggressiveness of the third baseman and the anticipating going to the lead base, right? There's If you hesitate at all, you don't get the runner here. Right? So that's really, really a solid job of anticipating. Run hard, anticipate lead base. If something happens and you don't think you can get them there, then you go over to first base. And she's pumped. Okay, so that's an easy, simple bunt defense that, um, you know, I think is uh, every, basically every team is going to run that as like their standard bunt D, at least in, uh, you know, my experience. So let me know if you have any questions. Put in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Give it a thumbs up. All that good stuff. And we will talk to you later.